Max Levitas might look like a mild-mannered old gent, but he's always liked a good battle. Nearly 80 years ago, he fought Oswald Mosley's fascists in the Cable Street race riots. Passing the Tower of London, 5,000 fascists rally to their mobilization for the much-advertised march through the East End. And Sir Oswald Mosley, black shirt leader, arrives at Royal Mint Street to inspect his followers. The police force came in with their horses into Cable Street and tried to throw the people about. But they didn't get away with it. We stay there even though people were knocked down with the baton and with the horses. All of a sudden, we got a notice that the government has met and decided that the fascists would not march. Because if they did march, there would be deaths because the people around here had enough. Now, at the age of 99, he's rekindling that fighting spirit to take on the council after being landed with a massive bill for repairs to his home. I was in a very, very fighting mood. I've learned how to fight. I went to meet Max in the East London flat less than a mile from Cable Street, where he's lived for nearly half a century. After decades as a council tenant, he now owns the property on a lease. Well, I've been doing this for 40 odd years. Really? <laughs> but a few months ago, he was told he needed to find £25,000 from his own pocket within a year to fund repairs to the block. Where is this £25,000 coming from? It's coming out of the wage packet, and therefore, on that basis, they've got to understand that the only person just can't afford to pay. Well, how would you begin to afford it yourself? Well, I wouldn't be, be able. As a lifelong communist, he's resorting to collective action, alongside other affected leaseholders, to try and get the council to think again. Councils up and down the country are carrying out long overdue housing repairs. Here in East London, a not-for-profit company, Tower Hamlets Homes, hires contractors to do the work for the council. Local authority tenants don't pay anything, but leaseholders sharing their block have serious concerns about the work they're being billed for. The local Labour MP, Rushnara Ali, wants the company to show Max and the other leaseholders some flexibility. He's a, an, a, an incredible figure in this community. Uh, he's a fighter, he's um, keeping strong and he's fighting on and he's been a great source of inspiration and support to all the local residents, not just on this issue but on other issues. Um, and you know, he will not tolerate unfairness and he's going to keep up the fight. I put that to Tower Hamlet's homes. I am sure that um, when he sits down with our financial inclusion team and talks for his options, that for someone that's 99, that we can find some way of, of, um, of finding a financial option that fits his circumstances. Well, you talk about options, but I mean, there's really no decent option for a 99-year-old man, apart from writing this off entirely, surely? Um, it'd be wrong for me to be drawn into individual people's circumstances um, and I appreciate that he's got very passionate held views um, but um, but generally we are trying to find the best way that fits in with individual circumstances. Since our interviews with both Tower Hamlets Homes and Max his repairs estimate has been reduced to £18,000 but Max plans to fight to the end as he did all those years ago in Cable Street. What are you going to do though if they say pay up? Well, I would just wait and see what happens. Will you I'm refuse not, to pay? I would re refuse to pay, not all alone, but refuse that the, the whole of the people who are being asked to pay, as we're doing at the moment altogether, the answer would be Mr. No. Max is planning a party for his 100th birthday in June. As things stand, the council won't be expecting an invite. <laughs>